Hello everyone, today we are trying to observe drawing features in Google Earth Engine. For drawing features, we use a digital elevation model, also called DEM. DEM is the 3D representation of elevation data created uh, usually from remote sensed data. They are used in various applications in modeling of city, land, and have uses in different land studies. Today we will use Earth Engine. Today we will use Earth Engine to derive different features from DEM. Um, there are different DEMs available in Earth Engine. We are using uh, NASA SRGM Digital Elevation Telemeter, uh, and we have imported this. Uh, and and for the area of interest, we want to select the country Nepal. For this, we use FAO Global, um, the FAO uh, Global Administrative Unit layers country boundaries. Um, Nepal is a small country, uh, but although being a small country, uh, it has changing terrains from a very plain land to uh, highest um, uh, highest mountains in the country. So uh, we have already imported these two variables um, as, as a variable image and table. And uh, we want to filter here first, we want to filter um, the metadata uh, to select one of the Nepal. And we add the layer and uh, center this uh, so want, we want to see it at the center and if we run this we get the layer here we get the layer as Nepal also we want to click the DM model uh, only from our area of interest uh, and it has been clipped by dot clip here so it has been clipped by dot clip and our uh, area of interest is NP uh, and we run this so um, we do not see anything in the DEM1 underscore 1 uh, because it requires a minimum and maximum parameters um, as mentioned before DEM uh, is related with elevations uh, for knowing the elevation um, we want to for uh, this purpose we are using dot um, lt here dot gt and dot lt and uh, this kind of operators to find uh, or to solve the region of uh, region which has uh, for example um, less than 100 meter which is less than 100 meter and similarly which is greater than 7000 meter and which is greater than um, 1000 um, but uh, less than 6000 meter and if we run this if we run this here um, it's not exactly being loaded because we have used here false um, we use false because we don't want to uh, load the layer or, or load the layer automatically after running the script so if we see here if you see here, we can see um, we can see our uh, area or the region that is less than 100 meter, and here somewhere here we have an island uh, in the middle of uh, 100 meter, which is greater than 100 meter. Similarly, for greater than 7,000 meter, it's all uh, little white patches here uh, is the area which is greater than 7,000 meter. And similarly for 1000 to 6000 meter we get this area uh, which is greater than 1000 but less than 6000 meter so this is for general visualizing um, similarly uh, we can also find the minimum and maximum height uh, from all this uh, from all this country for this here we have let me uncomment this one so here we are uh, where we use dot reduce reason um, function and it's used by ee dot reduce dot max here and similarly here dot mean so it is to calculate the maximum and minimum elevation and we get the elevation uh, the thing to consider here is that the uh, geometry and scale if they are too uh, large um, they, they can consider too many pixels and they fail to produce uh, the desired result so we either decrease the geometry uh, or our area of interest or 
um, we increase uh, the value of the scale. Uh, so we see that if we run this um, here, so if you run this here, we are um, we get the uh, maximum elevation and the minimum elevation. So this is according to the DEM. Similarly, for adding it as layer, we can add the layer. Here we have different color palettes used, and similarly, uh, we get the uh, numbers values. Uh, calculate above as dot get info here we are using e dot number to be used as a uh, number and similarly for maximum and minimums we use the palette colors here and we name this layer as elevation so if you run this here so let, if you run this here it's um, we get the uh, beautiful image here So this is the layer. We just get this from here. This is elevation. And um, the other information we can derive from DEM is slope. And slope is the value in the degrees uh, that tells how slant or steep is the feature. So for this, um, what for this also, we use ee.train.slope. This is the function available. And we use a DEM and it gives the slope for calculating the mean slope, uh, mean of the slope, we use the similar function that we uh, did above. And here we have mean, we reduce it by mean, and similarly we get the slope. And for adding it as layer, we can just add map.add layer with minimum and maximum values, and we run this. Doing this, we get the slope. So it's computing. So here we mean is 18.44 and other information we can derive from DM is aspect um, uh, it tells the story uh, of how the um, how the highest um, land is uh, how, how the is sloping towards which direction um, for example the slope might be uh, facing towards uh, north um, which is uh, zero so and which is which goes to 90 degree to east and uh, facing slopes uh, and then finally it reaches to 180 degree for south facing slopes and is uh, 360 degree uh, finally for north facing slopes um, so for this also we can use here we use ee dot tender aspect uh, this is similar function for this as, as for the slope and we can add this Again, add this as layer. Um, so this is the two. Uh, these two are the similar. Only the dot aspect and dot slope. These functions are somewhat similar. And the other most important thing is if we want to export the image to drive, we want we can write export dot image to drive. We can write the image name, and we can write sort description about the image. And after writing scale and giving the region of area of interest, we can run this. Um, the other helpful function is uh, called ee.genderprox. And what it does it, uh, is it gives all the, um, all the features that might, we might want to uh, generate. So, um, such as slope. Uh, and hill, uh, hill set and aspect together. So if we see here, from this e dot train dot products, we get all the information: the elevation, slope, aspect, hill set, and we can uh, we can uh, select a hill set and add it as layer. So we have a hill set, and the uh, the task that uh, we did before, we have export.image to drive. Um, for this, if we see the tags here, uh, it's saying as unsubmitted tax. And if you click run here, we can choose options to select the folder to save our image. So um, this was the very short content of train features 
uh, with digital elevation model in Alt Engine. Hope this was helpful. Um, thank you.